is the one where everybody like just runs and scatters like cockroaches. <laughs> I know what law is. I was a criminal from the age of seven on up. Yes, seven. I started to steal money, bikes, everything. As I grew older, I broke every law you could possibly think of. So when I read the commandments, I'm like, wow, I'm a criminal not just in this world, but I'm a criminal in heaven. <laughs> we have to ask ourselves, how, how have I fallen short of these commandments to see areas in our lives that do not mix with God? God's law. Jesus said that the foolish man is the one who hears the sermon on the mountain and does does nothing with it. Doesn't do it. I no longer want to be that foolish man. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suelta la suburba, because we're about to go see Jesus. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Wrong and Strong. You know what time it is? It is all in his name, all in his glory. Thank you Jesus for what you did on the cross. Thank you for what you did in my heart, my life, and in my family. Thank you. Man. How do you wake up every morning? Do you wake up like really grateful that you woke up? Because it's really not promised for you to wake up. So, yeah, I would be pretty grateful. <laughs> there, There is no system. It's just God's law. God's law, the commandments. We've come to think that the law of God is like a heavy burden. We think God is this cruel teacher that's tells you just to sit down, don't talk. <laughs> like a cruel task maker, <laughs> thinking up of ways to tell us what not to do. So we run from sin. It's hurt, it hurts his heart, it hurts our heart. We have no interest in applying it to our lives, so it's easier to sin. Is losing your soul easy? You gotta remember guys, we are not earning our salvation or even earning the mercy of God. Otherwise, God's mercy would not be mercy. This is why I love to read the Bible and hear the stories of my heroes of faith, because it shows me a description of a true believer in really bad times. They were still hardcore for Jesus. And to see the love that they had for the commandments. The one who corrects by the law of God, the true believer. One that makes sure to keep God's commandments when he sees that he falls short of the standard. You're not the only man that has evil thoughts and nightmares and all these things going on in your head. But I can say this today from me. The man who meditates on the law of God day and night is not bothered by these things, by those thoughts. You have your full armor of God on. Even your friendships are determined by God's law also. 
A true believer is attracted to others who trust in Christ, love God, and keep His commandments. They're willing to share their faith with others. We're always going to be in need of God's mercy. If we lose sight of this, we are miserable and hopeless. We are beggars of mercy on the street corners of Jerusalem. Like this. Pulling up the signs that say, have mercy on me, God. We actually need to give thanks to God for his commandments and his righteousness and judgment as part of our worship. Without God's judgment, there could be no Christ, no mercy, and no life. So we confess our sins, we trust in God's forgiveness, we love Him. Then and only then, our hearts are inclined to keep His commandments. You know, when I was in the game and I just was out there selling drugs all day, there was times that I made 20 grand, 10 grand, 30, all the way into the hundreds, profit for me and I would come home and I would count the money over and over again and I would fix them in perfect form so all the faces would be safe, facing the same way and they would be wrapped in these perfect just bundles and I would come home and, and count it over and over again. I don't remember one time that I felt joy and peace the way that I feel it today. Today, I'm a firm believer in God and what Christ did on the cross and everything that he promises if we follow his commandments. My name is JC. I am Wrong to Strong. Don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage. And remember, live for him. It's the only way. Catch you guys on the rebound.